Hello, I finally found time to finish this project or this idea I had for a long time. It took me many hours to program this and it was quite challenging, but somehow it, it works now. So I present to you the display input output system or TIOS. The name BIOS was taken. So this is TIOS. What is this? Uh, let me explain this way. Sometimes I just need a simple pulse width modulation signal to control DC motor or I need a square signal or I need to turn on or off something. Sometimes I just need a simple and fast way to control some module or some part. But very often my laptop is not near me or sometimes I'm too lazy to write code. Idea is to program GPIOs directly on the development board using this menu interface. For example, you can see now this pin is pin one is declared as output, green is output, and it is connected to timer, so this LED is blinking. Pin 43 is declared like input, state is 1, now state is 0, and this green LED is connected to pin 11, which is, sorry, which is not 43. I will explain that later. The weapon board is LilyGo uh, T Display S3, and I decided to use it because uh, many of you already own this board. I could use new, newer. Sorry. I could use this display S3 AMOLED which is nicer board but of course it is more expensive but I decided to use cheaper T display S3 because I hope many of you will try this if you don't own a T Display S3, you can find buying links in the description, so feel free to check them out. I will show, uh, show you how this works, but uh, first I need to mention my sponsor. Sponsor of this video is PCBWay, and if you are a maker or you love electronics, PCBWay can offer a lot to you. On their site you can uh, order your PCB, you can print your 3D model, they offer CNC machining and service and more. You can find link in description. PCB way was and it is still a good companion in my on my learning journey. So this is T-Display S3, ESP32 based board made by LilyGo and I, I already made many projects using that board, you can find them on my channel. I also have tutorial which can help you to set up and use this board with Arduino IDE. T-Display S3 has these header pins under this beautiful display and on uh, the LilyGo site we can find pinout image but let's take a look at my project we can also see those pins so we have 
ground pins, VCC pins and we have also these NC or not connected pins and to be honest I don't know why they are even here pins available to us are 43, 44, 80, 17, 21, 16, 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12, 13 I can declare any of these pins as input for example pin 33 is input you can see how state is changed like switch blue is switch for example pin uh, push button 2 is declared like switch this LED is controlled by switch and you can see that when it's when a pin is declared a switch it will remain its state like on off switch of course it can be declared like output these are output pins it can be declared like uh, analog read for example pin 17 is connected to this potentiometer and I can change value with potentiometer and in, in same time I am changing on time of this timer and it can be declared like pulse width modulated signal which can also have a fixed value like in this case or can be connected to analog value I can also use these uh, two built-in push buttons in default uh, left button is declared like we can see orange so it is input and right is switch but if I press both of them I can enter this menu and I can redeclare or uh, use some other pins so for example if I don't want to use pin 18 anymore or I if I want to use it as output I can go set pin I will set pin 80 and let's use it as pulse width modulation let's choose that for uh, blinking LEDs or for generating square signals I have uh, two timers T1 and T2 and I can set on or off time for each timer for example I can also use analog read pin or I can use fixed value so set timer let's say set T2 on sorry set timer set t2 on time 250 and multiplier will be 200 I will show you how to operate this in details uh, but first um, some of you will probably say that this is useless uh, some of you will say that this is great and some of you will love to play with this but I think this project is unique it can also be used to teach kids some basics about input outputs they can blink LEDs um, 
if writing code is hard to them? Tell me what you think in comments. Is this creative? Is this useful? Or is this waste of my time? Because I I spend so many hours making this and solving all the problems was not easy. I couldn't sleep sometimes. If you plan to use this, if this is useful, please write write a comment. Please subscribe if you are first time here and if you want you can always buy me coffee to support my work. Every donation helps a lot to keep this channel alive. Uh, yes, I forgot to say, uh, what is great? If you accidentally power off your board, remember these settings, if you accidentally power off your board, when you power on again, pin definition and settings are still the same. Why? Because I made it that way uh, so every time you change pin definition it will store all the pins uh, in EEPROM. So this is some kind of uh, autosave function. For example, if I reset all, now all pins are not used and I, I will set pin. Forty three S input. Pin 43 is connected to this push button. I'll power off, power on, and it is saved. And I also forgot to mention if you take a look on a pinout image on their site, you can see that we can use all these pins as input, output, pulse width modulation, analog, there is only one exception, pin 43, 44 and 21, they can't be used as analog inputs. They are not connected to analog to digital con converters. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's see what we can do. So, for example, um, pin 2. I want pin 2 to make output pin. So I will enter to menu. I will select pin 2 and I will set it to output source for output i can set it high i can set it low i can set it to be timer not timer timer two not timer two uh, push button one not push button one or 43 here is only pin 43 because there is only one input pin or switch pin which is 43 so my advice is first set all all inputs and then you can set outputs. I will make it blink. So pin T1 is now a uh, pin 2 is now connect, connected to timer 1 and they have same state. Let's say I want to pin three to have um, as output and I will say that it is um, push button one 
so push button one have state one because it is uh, input pull up so when it when this push button is not pressed state is one when I pressed state is zero and you can see here that state is zero when I press okay let's add 16 will be analog pin it is already connected to my potentiometer so okay in Oh no, it is not. It is some. Uh, I think pin seventy is all connected to my one, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pin seventy is connected to potentiometer. We'll set is analog. And yes. And now, for example, I can uh, pin one is connected to this uh, LED, so I will set it to pull switch modulation. but I will, as source, I will choose pin 70. So, now I connected uh, this output with this input and basically I can dim this LED using this potentiometer. In menu there are also, uh, I can reset all, or I can change brightness of this display. And that and that that's it. That's it for now. I'm planning to improve this project to add new feature, please. Please feel free to give me advice. And please tell me what you think. Code is in description and don't forget to try this. Cool project. I don't know. To me this is cool and unique. I hope you like this. Thank you and we will s I will make probably few videos about this project so stay tuned subscribe and and stay creative goodbye